Paula Wayne. Paula's back with that. And Paula, we learn more about Megan's gown and the guest list. Where are you, Paula? There you I, are. I'm over here, George. Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, everybody, we've circled May 19th on the calendar. Meghan Markle has chosen a designer. And the American princess, she's going to be bringing a bit of Hollywood with her for the big day. Her hair and makeup team from her old TV show Suits, they're going to be on hand. And when it comes to the menu, insiders say guests will get a taste of the states. The royal couple's on the road again, making their third public appearance together with just 17 weeks to go until the big day. And this morning, new details are emerging on royal wedding planning. Perhaps one of the biggest questions on everybody's mind, what will the bride wear? We have a wedding dress designer. Megan flew in her close friend and bridal stylist, Jessica Mulroney, from Toronto to London last weekend, where she attended a top-secret fitting at Kensington Palace with the designer. And while the name of that designer is still under wraps, what are some names that we can expect to see on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's guest list? Sources tell Us Weekly that Harry has actually put on the top of his list his good friend Ed Sheeran to perform at the after party. Expect to see her famous friends, including Serena Williams, Priyanka Chopra, as well as many of her Suits co-stars. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau will be invited along with his wife Sophie. As for the bridal party, Princess Charlotte and Prince George are expected to have roles on the big day. Another surprise will be Jessica Mulroney's daughter Ivy, who I've heard will be a flower girl on the day. And leading up to their nuptials, the couple continue Markle's unofficial tour of the UK. Wildly excited fans greeted them Thursday in Wales. She showed me her ring and it was amazing, and she said she was a very lucky lady. The actress, looking chic while staying warm, greeted well-wishers in a black Stella McCartney coat with a ribbon belt, black skinny jeans by a Welsh brand, velvet ankle boots, and a green tasseled handbag. The royal pair also visiting Cardiff Castle, an iconic building in the Welsh capital, celebrating the area's heritage and culture, and they sampled Welsh crumpets and cake. The next stop was a local community center. Harry and his fiance they met with young people in the Street Games program, a charity Harry supports that brings positive change to disadvantaged youth through sports. And during a game of Jenga, Markle doled out strategy advice. Children rushed over to warmly greet the royal couple after performing a dance number for them. Well, getting married means receiving gifts. But when you're a royal, there are certain stipulations. All official gifts, they can be worn and used, but eventually they become part of the royal collection. So that means, George, the apron that she just received, she's going to eventually have to hand it back over. They also can't sell or exchange uh, their gifts. So if they get 17 blunders, they got to keep the 17 <laughs> blunders, and then they'll become part of the royal collection. Maybe they can find a way to make, it, make good use of it. Okay, Paula, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA